Hey everyone, it's Joe Bradley here in Houston, Texas, and as you can see, I am driving once again. Uh, I'm just now leaving the hospital, uh, and so I'm caught in the rush hour traffic. Um, but I, I did want to stop and, and uh, make this video because, you know, every time there is a nugget that I have, something that turns, like I said, like I like to say, something that turns my red light to green, then I think about maybe there's someone out there who's red light who's stuck behind this red light and uh, I can help you to turn this red light green so I've been reading I've been reading uh, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by uh, T. Harv Eker and I gotta tell you um, I don't know if you're an avid reader you're watching this video I don't know if you if you are a reader or not but you definitely want to make time to read because reading Reading does so many things. I know reading is fundamental, but it's more than just fundamental. Uh, reading actually helps the mind to continue to grow. And when we're continually growing, then our mind is exercising and therefore our memory is being preserved because thinking really is, mem is remembering. Um, and so it's, it's retrieving, thinking is retrieving uh, new, it's, it's retrieving uh, things that we have stored in our in our memory banks, whether it's long term or short term, uh, thinking actually is just that. And so, uh, if we're not storing anything in our banks, then we don't have anything to withdraw when it's time to remember, right? So, and it can be it can be challenging at certain times to think when we're when we're forced to think about something that we haven't done before, and that's where we uh, have to rely upon. Uh, upon different muscles that require us to imagine if you will, imagination imagination is powerful when it comes to dream actualization but here's what i want to talk about uh in t harbecker's book that really struck a chord with me and it's the formula that that leads to living the life that you actually want to live you ever meet somebody you ever meet somebody who it seems like they have the Midas touch, like everything they touch just turns to gold. No matter what, no matter what they do, no matter what kind of situation they're in, they always come out on top. It doesn't matter when they uh, join a certain program, it doesn't matter when they come into the place or wherever it is they're coming into, it doesn't matter what, what it doesn't matter when they get into whatever they're getting to, into, they always have the number one results. You ever, you ever meet anybody like that? Or they put their mind to something and it just happens for them. Uh, well, T. Harv Eker talks about them and he says he says that this is a millionaire mind. And a millionaire mind is different from a person who, who does not have those results. It's a matter of not results, but it's a matter of thinking. Now, most of the time what we do is uh, we, we, we try to change the actual results, right? But he says that we live in four quadrants of life. We live in the physical realm, we live in the emotional realm, we live in the uh, mental realm, a mental quadrant, and we live in the spiritual quadrant. But most of us focus only on what we can see, which is the physical. The, well, the physical is what's above ground. And so we're always trying to change the physical, but it's what's underneath, he says, that determines what's going to come up on top. And so, I want to talk about two aspects in, uh, of, of this. Uh, I want to talk about T. Harv's, what, what T. T. Harv Eckers, uh, what, what he talks about, and then I want to, I want to talk about it from my vantage point, right? Okay, so um, he says that that rich people or people who have, and, and when I say rich, I'm not just talking about money. So don't think this is just about money. This type of thinking is the kind of thinking that leads us into the life that we have versus the life that we want. And the people who are living, who have the life that they want, they've managed to think differently than those who don't, right? So uh, the way that we think, it leads to the way that we feel. The way that we feel leads to our actions. And those three things equal our results. And actually the way that we think comes from our programming, the way we've been programmed to think, 
right? I wish I could, could actually draw on a whiteboard or something like that so I could kind of write this out because I thought it was pretty cool. And I, you know, I do the, I do these little circles and stuff when I when I do it. I was explaining to somebody else in, in the office earlier, and, and they were just blown away. And I say, well, it's not me. I mean, that's that's T. Harv Eker, but it actually goes beyond T. Harv Eker. It, this this is the way we were designed. We were literally designed to create our reality. And so since we were designed to create our reality, then our thinking results in what you see on top of the ground. So imagine going into your backyard and you have this tree, right? This fruit tree. And this fruit tree uh, has red apples that are growing up on it. And you're so upset because you want green pears. So what you do, you don't chop down the tree, but you just pull off all the leaves and you pull off all the apples, all the red apples, and then you, you don't like red apples, so you just give them away to whoever, and you said, I want green pears. So what you do is you take the green pears, and, uh, or, or you take the apples, you give them away, and then you continue to, to feed the tree all the you know, nutrients that it needs and everything. And uh, you know, a couple of months later, lo and behold, what grows back? Red apples, you got it. And the reason why, the, and, and of course that sounds crazy that we would even think that something other than red apples would grow back on the tree uh, when that's what, it's an apple tree, right? Well, it doesn't make, it doesn't make sense to even think that something else would grow. But the problem is, this is how we treat our physical life. See, our physical life, what we have in the physical quadrant of our lives is like the apples on the tree. And we try to change it by pulling off the apples, expecting pears. But in order to, in order to have anything other than apples to grow on that tree, what do we have to do? Right, right. We gotta change the we gotta change the seed. We gotta change the root because it's the root that determines the fruit. It's the root that determines the fruit. It's not the weather, it's not the rain, it's not, it's the root that determines the fruit. And so if we're going to have different kinds of fruit, then we need a different kind of root. So what that means is we have to change the way that we think. Now, since people who have the kind of life they want, since they think differently and their thinking comes from programming, then what if, what if you could think the same way they think? What if you had the same kind of programming? What if you listened to positive uh, uh, affirmations and declarations every single day that let you believe, that allowed you to believe uh, with the flow that anything that you desire, anything that you dream of is possible? What if you, what if you had that kind of programming do you, and, and you were able to think like the people who have the life they want? Do you think that you could feel the way they feel? Absolutely. And if you can think, if you have the kind of programming, and if you can, if you can think like they think, and if you can, uh, and, and, and you feel like they feel, then do you think you could act like they act? Absolutely. So if you could, if you had their kind of programming, right? You had their kind of thoughts, you had their kind of thinking, you had the kind of feelings that, that uh, people who have, who, people who have their, their desired life have, and you perform the same way, you have the same kind of actions, then what do you think you would get? The same results, right? So now all of a sudden, you have the pear tree. You have the pears growing because you have the pear tree. But now in order for the pear, see, because I could just give you a pear tree. I could just give you a pear tree and put it in your backyard. But the problem is if the soil isn't ready, if the soil isn't ready for the back for the uh, for the tree, then the tree is simply going to die. This is how important mindset is. So you can have all the marketing skills that you need. You can have all the marketing techniques that you need. You can have all of the the one, two, three, four steps all together. You can have the eight steps, the nine steps, the fifteen steps, the two steps, the three steps, uh, and you can do it all by yourself, right? You can do have all that, but if the soil isn't equipped to receive or, or to if, if if the soil isn't equipped to actually produce that kind of tree then when the even if the tree shows up in the backyard it's not going to live 
right? And that's the difference between someone who who has actually made who has actually made their dreams come true through uh, through dream actual goal actualization and planning and uh, by repeating their major definite purpose every single day. The difference between them and the person who wins the lottery. See, the person who wins the lottery, they had it handed to them, right? They had their they had their 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 dream handed to them. Excuse me for the light. They had their dream handed to them. And now everything that they had, because they don't have the type of soil that can grow that, then the tree dies. And they go right back to where they were. So the key first is mindset. The key is mindset, getting your mind to the point where it has already received the reality of the dream. It has to be so real that when it happens, you're not surprised. It's kind of like the person who, the, the and I, I'm, I'm full of analogies and examples, but it's kind of like the person, or the running back who's running the ball and he's put in major work ethic, but then he scores. You know, he doesn't get all crazy and start doing all these dances because you know what? He's like, man, I deserve to score. I was supposed to score. And the reason why I was supposed to score is because I put in extreme work ethic. I did so much to get to this point, so I'm not surprised that I scored. I'm surprised. Matter of fact, I'm more surprised that you tackled me as many times as you did. Uh, but I'm I knew I was gonna score anyway, right? So when we put in the the work ethic, when we put in uh, the 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 commitment into making sure this happens, making sure that dream becomes real, then. It's not a surprise. We're thankful, but not surprised, right? We're, we're very appreciative, but not surprised. And the reason, why, the reason why we're not surprised is because we know that it was our thinking, the way we felt in our actions that meant that these results are supposed to happen. One last example, and then I'm gonna uh, get off of here and let you go. Um, and by the way, if this has helped you, then please leave a comment below and share it with somebody who, um, who, who you think might need this. But if you notice we get in the car and we'll go to drive, right? We'll go driving to wherever it is we're going, whether we're going to work, whether we're going to church, whether we're going to school, we're going to the store. We get in the car not concerned about anything on the way. And there are definitely bad drivers out there, and that's why there's so many car accidents every single day. But you notice it's not the, the we don't think about the car accidents when we get in the car. We don't think about the people who are who who are driving drunk. We don't think about the red light runners. We don't think about the people who are not paying attention, they're texting while they're driving. We don't think about the people who are doing like what I'm doing and recording a video while they're driving. We don't think about those people. What we do is we just think about where I'm going. I'm going to the bank. I'm going to the store. I'm going to church. I'm going to school. I'm going over to Mama Nim house. You know, Mama Nim, I'm going over Mama Nim house. Uh, we don't think about anything else. And there may be someone who, who almost runs us off the road, but that doesn't stop us from driving, nor does it change the destination. See, what we have to understand is our mind. Look at how confident we are. Look at how certain we are. Look how sure we are. The moment we got in the car, we knew exactly where we were going because in our mind, we were already there. Matter of fact, we somebody called and said, hey, uh, we about to start. What time you gonna get here? And we said, oh, well, you know, well, we'll be there in 20 minutes. How do you know? Well, because I'm 20 minutes away. We never think about anything negative happening. And even though somebody, even though there's millions of accidents that happen every single day, we still get in the car and drive because we know that the accidents have nothing to do with the norm. And the norm for us is literally get in the car and eventually I'm going to make it to my destination. That's the kind of mindset we have to have about our dream and about our reality and about our success. That's a millionaire mind because when we think like that, then we'll feel that confident and we'll act like we know where we're going and we'll act like we're gonna get there and as a result, 15 minutes later, boom, there we are. 15 minutes later, scared drivers don't drive. Scared drivers catch rides places. And there's so many people that are scared to chase after their dream and they chase it for a moment and then they turn back around and run at the first sign of opposition. 
That's somebody who doesn't think like someone who has already received what it is they're going for. And let me tell you something, our minds are so powerful that they will literally cause us to believe that we can't just because somebody else said we can't. So here's the thing, change the programming, change our thinking, we change our feelings, we change our actions, and we change our results. We change our fruit. We change the that we change the root, and we change the fruit. I hope this has helped you. If you're looking for somebody who has a map, if you're looking for a leader to help you, literally step by step, day by day, uh, mindset and all, to change the fruit that's growing in your trees, to help you get to the point where you can actualize your dream, then click on the link below. I'll see you on the inside. We have a leadership factory. We we have. Uh, daily assignments. We have major definite purpose training. We have all of that stuff to help you literally become the person who you see at the end to the point where you can look at that person in the mirror and see the difference between you and, and that person. The person that you want to be, the person that you dream to be, the person that you desire to be, and the person that you are. We have the map that can literally cast you and, and that person who you want to be to show you this is where you are and this is where you need to be. If you're looking to be that person, if you want to change the fruit, click on the link below and I'll see you on the inside.